What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. I am Mark. You're watching Trading with a Dummy. If you haven't subscribed yet, why haven't you? You should be subscribing. You should be liking my videos, of course, only if you enjoy it. And then share this video if you enjoy it at the end. Today we're gonna get down and dirty when it comes to investing your hard earned money into trading groups or courses or mentorships and the things you need to look out for and the red flags that I have caught through my journey of trying to become financially free and successful as a daytime trader. It's a celebration, fellas. Salud. How about the morning to you? Good to be home. Did I say successful? I'm not there yet, but you know what? I like that energy. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna be a successful day trader. Root for me, y'all. And of course, with this video, we're gonna drink a little bit. Right here, I have seven shot glasses available right here, as well as Mama Juan. It's a Dominican drink that you have to make. This one's been sitting for a good two years, so it should taste pretty good. But I'm gonna take a shot for every single red flag that I cover in today's episode. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. So stay tuned, get your drinks too, get your popcorn, cause I am going to expose. Nah, no, 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 no. That's not what this channel is gonna be. I'm not gonna be one of those guys who's exposing people. No, 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 no. Nope, I am just going to inform you guys on some things to look out for when it comes to this financial literacy space. But before we get into those red flags, here are a few things that people will not tell you. I've mentioned this in previous episodes. Financial literacy has been a blessing for myself and has been a blessing for a lot of you out there as well. But with any space that can get crowded, there's gonna be good and there's gonna be bad. Once 2020 happened, people caught on to the hustle and it's become a whole process of spitting out half-baked courses or starting groups and barely informing you on the real truth about trading and investing and people just kinda of scam other people and take their money and they get rich off of other people believing in them. And here is the truth. A lot of these trading groups, these investing groups and these courses that you pay for, the individuals that host these or run these groups actually probably make around 12 times more off of subscription services and courses than they actually do trading and investing themselves. Do you make more money investing or more money selling courses and videos teaching other people how to invest? Uh, roughly 12 times the amount from teaching that I do from trading. Uh, you know, some people will look at that as a negative. I look at it as a positive because I'm showing you how I make money from my craft and then I'm making money from showing people. And a lot of those people don't want to be honest with you about it, but that really is the truth. What's the purpose of trading yourself if you have a whole bunch of people who are paying you for you to tell them how to trade? It may sound like I'm kicking them down, but I'm not. I actually do like a lot of the groups that I go through and I respect a lot of the people who run these groups but we have to be 100% transparent. A lot of these people in this financial literacy space who are considered educators make more money off of teaching, selling, and having some sort of subscription service than they are really investing and trading themselves. But I'm always gonna tell you that you can get all this information 100% for free, or you could even go to a library, rent some books for free, or you could go into my LinkedIn on my IG page and get books for free. Or if you just don't like free, you can go on amazon.com and you couldn't just buy any of these financial literacy books on there for a fraction of the price that you would pay for any of these courses or trading groups or programs and most importantly there are no hidden secrets out there everything is readily available And number three, when you go into these trading groups, you should learn how to fish for yourself and not shown how to fish. Does that make sense? Basically, if I take out the water on the lake and I take out my rod and I put my bait on the hook and I go out there and I fish and I bring this real huge bass in and I show it to you and you're like, that's awesome and I give it to you. You're not going to do anything with that, right? You need to actually learn to fish. I should be explaining to you what type of hook I'm using, what type of rod I'm using, what type of bait I'm using, what type of boat we're sitting in and what water to look out for, what weather to look for, all these different things. That's what you should be learning, not watching me how to fish. I feel like I was really long and drawn out. I probably could have just said, um, Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man a fish and he will be able to feed himself for a lifetime. There you go, that was a lot better. And number four, every single trader takes a loss. They're not always winning, and if they tell you they are, they are full of crap. 
And the last thing I want to talk about before we get into these red flags is number five. It's not easy, y'all. I'm being real. Trading is not easy. There's a reason why 94% fail and only six are successful full-time traders. There's a reason for that. Because if it was easy and everyone was doing it, I don't think there would be a 94% failure rate. So think about that, seriously. I question myself about that a lot. Am I the 6% or the 94%? I guess we'll find out in a couple years. All right, so let's get into these red flags. I'm gonna take a shot for the very first one. This shot glass, by the way, I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it up there, see if I can focus. Bone Town. I got that at adult convention in Las Vegas. So cheers up for the very first red flag. Be careful who you follow and take advice from in the financial literacy space. Because there's a lot of charlatans out there. And if you're unfamiliar with what a charlatan is, let me give you a rundown. A charlatan, also called a swindler or a mountain bank, or similar confidence tricks in order to obtain money, fame, or advantages through pretense or deception. So now you know what a charlatan is, because I use that word quite a bit on my Instagram as well as on my Twitter feed. But with every single charlatan, there is a little bit of truth there. Think about this. A lot of people online call Grant Cardone a scammer. And if you just YouTube him, you'll see a bunch of different stuff out there saying that he's a scammer. Now, I'm not saying he's a scammer. I'm just saying uh, that's what the media is saying. But with every charlatan, there is some truth here. For one, Grant Cardone for sure is a millionaire. I'm talking about millions and millions of dollars. He is a self-proclaimed real estate investor but when you start peeling that onion you quickly realize that he's made most of his money by doing speaking engagements by selling out arenas uh charging 125 thousand dollars for a mentorship program doing his uh selling his book and his software program and his investment program called 10x and then basically taking all that money that he's made from all these other ventures and then putting that into the real estate market that's really how he's made his money so is he really a real estate mogul? I mean, maybe because he owns a bunch of properties now, but really he is a selling mogul. His whole job is selling you a dream. And maybe 1% out of all those people that take his program actually become successful where the other 99% don't. They just paid his nice, beautiful yacht. So yeah, you shouldn't be following random people on Twitter or on IG or some YouTube star who all of a sudden is telling you, hey, go invest, put your money here, put your money there without really knowing if that person's legit or not. Like for example, how many of you have been buying stocks the past three months during a bearish market because some financial guru or expert told you to? It's okay, don't be embarrassed, I'm sure you have. I did it last year and the year before that, so I understand. I would just buy because people were telling me it's the bottom, but the reality is nobody really knows. And if you bought anything in the past three months, you're probably down 20 to 40% and it sucks. But that's the reality of the game. You follow some random nobody. Red flag number two. This one's an Arizona shot glass. I don't lie about these shots. Here we go. I hope I'm not drunk by the end of this video. Here is another dirty secret. A lot of these people who are selling programs and courses and are telling you what to buy and what not to buy and when to wait, when not to wait, to buy the bottom, to buy the dip, whatever it is, none of those people are actually licensed. Let me retract that. I said none of those people, most of them. I would say majority of them are not allowed to actually give you financial advice because none of them are financial advisors. They don't have their series seven. They don't have their series three. They don't have their series 63 and all the other licenses that you need. They are just considered experts and gurus because people have said that they are experts and gurus or they proclaim themselves to be an expert on guru. I'm telling you, I could go to the library, I could pick up a book on medicine, I could watch Grey's Anatomy for 20 seasons, and I could be in a room with other people who know nothing about medicine and start spitting all this jargon and they would think that I'm really smart. But that doesn't mean I can actually prescribe you medication or diagnose you or do surgery, right? Because I don't have that formal education. And that's a big problem in this space because a lot of people don't have these licenses, but they're acting like as if they do. As the elders of our time choose to... And I want what I gotta get. I got fucking mouths to feed. You understand? 
A lot of these people are self-taught and there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of us are self-taught in our things. I'm self-taught to doing YouTube videos. So I can speak in those topics in an educational manner, but it doesn't mean that I actually know everything. And that's the reason why you see a lot of these experts and gurus saying that this information is just for educational purposes only or for entertainment purposes only because that way they don't have any liability on what you do. But you guys are following them as if they're actual financial advisors. I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. So if you're giving that person money, you should have the right to say, hey, can I see your 1099 for last year? Can I see your bank statement? Can I see your brokerage statement so I can see like what you actually invested in and how you've been performing for the past year or two? And if they give you a BS excuse, that 100% is a red flag. Remember, if they're constantly just posting it, wins, 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 all they're doing is winning, 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 and they're constantly bragging and needing validation, all those things are red flags. Finally found a broker on Wall Street that you can trust and who can consistently make you money. Sound fair enough? Now, number three. Let's go for the big one here, San Francisco, baby. Shout out to all my Bay Area folks. What up, Kadar, my best friend out in San Francisco. This one's to you, you communist. I really hope I don't get sick here. So number three is don't believe what you see. So I recently was schooled by a person who faked their P&Ls and their returns. And when that person schooled me on the game, that's when I did those videos on my own YouTube channel, my IG, where I showed you guys how I made 35% in returns and then got like $3,000 in futures trading in one day. You can fake all of that stuff. So if you take away anything from this video, that's the one thing. A lot of the stuff that these people post may be fake because you could simply go on Thinkorswim, click on the demand button, go back to 2020 like I did, buy a bunch of stocks that you know went up in the past two years, buy a bunch of shares, and then fast forward to 2022, and now it shows that you have a 35% return and you're this great investor with a bunch of great, amazing stocks, and all of it is fake because I strategically only showed you what I wanted to show you. Yeah. I know, and that is kind of a bombshell because now you're like, wait a second. Are these people telling the truth? They could be lying because they only show you the half truth to the whole process. Same thing goes for the futures trading on Ninja Trader and Trading View. All you have to do is go back to the playback button, go back to the day that you know it ran up, place your order, watch it run up, see your PL and your returns, and you're like, wow, this is amazing. I made anywhere from two to 10K every single day trading because it's just a playback button. And once again, you strategically just show the returns, but not the full account. Because if you show the full account, you will see quickly that is a simulated fake account. So unfortunately, a person is constantly showing you their returns. It could be fake. Another thing to think about, if you're a day trader, for example, myself, I'll get one contract in SPY, pay seven bucks for it, have it go to 14 bucks. I just had a 100% return. That's really not that amazing if you think about what you say, hey, I made seven bucks. But when you plastered a 100% return in a single day, you're like, wow, that's amazing. Versus another person who could potentially have risked four or $5,000, only had 25% return, but made hundreds of dollars, you would have been like, eh, you only made 25%. It's all about deception. If they only showed a percentage, well, you gotta ask questions. Let me see how much money you actually made and how much money you put it online to get those returns. And I know some people are like, wait a second, I'm not gonna show you my account statement. Well, I tell you what, there's this guy named SG Stock God. He's an actual trader. Him and I are gonna sit down soon, we're gonna have a great conversation. But this dude legitimately trades the futures and he puts his stuff up. No problem. You ask him, he shows you because he believes in transparency. And he's been in the game long enough to know that a lot of people fake their stuff. All right, number four. This is my Hollywood one. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it peeled off. Anyways, cheers. Number four, there is no one strategy that works. I'm telling you this now, if you hear anybody telling you that only this strategy works, they are lying. If they're telling you only this blueprint works, this is the only one you'll ever need. You don't need to listen to anybody else. Those are red flags because that is not true. 
one of the things you should do in your journey is get as much information as possible. I know sometimes you get information overload because there's so much out there and a lot of it is noise, but you have to figure out what works for you and what strategy clicks for you. All right, next one. This is a, a wedding of our friends. This is a shout out to Ashley and Jonathan. This is a wedding shot glass. If I'm start blurring, blurring. If I start mumbling and and uh, messing up my words, it's because it's really uh, it's really hidden now. Prost. Number five, joining signal only groups, meaning they're only giving you call outs. You don't want to join any group like that. And there's a reason behind it. For one, you're doing yourself a disservice because you're really jipping yourself from the education that you can get from some of these other groups. Education is still key. So you're just basically chasing the money, a quick way to make a quick buck. And I can tell you every single time you chase the money, that's the quickest way for you to go broke. So try to stay away from the signal only groups. I'm talking about the telegrams, the WhatsApp, the discords, the slack groups, where all they do is just put out calls and they don't tell you why you're getting into that position. Hell, if you don't even know why you get into the position, that's a red flag. And you're ready for another bombshell here. This is the worst. <laughs> Even though there's a lot of trading groups out there that do add a lot of value, um, there's a secret that a lot of people don't know about. Some of these groups are using other people's call outs, specifically a guy named Sam. He's known to be a successful trader and his call outs cost around $1,000 to $2,000 a single month for you to be a part of his group. And some of these trading groups, especially within our community, are basically copying and pasting his call outs and putting it in their own and then charging you a small fractional price. But that's a little dirty secret within a community. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. You are so fucking pathetic. Next one, I got two more. This one's big. This one is from Cozumel when I went to Mexico. I'm not gonna fill this one all the way out. I'm just let you know now. Once again, let's get it down. I'm gonna feel like crap. Number six, stay away from the experts and gurus who are selling you a lifestyle. I'm talking about the ones that constantly are in nice cars, showing you their bling, taking pictures with designer bags, sitting in jets, coming out of nice fancy cars, being on a beach with their laptop, talking about you could do this as well. Those people aren't teaching you anything. They're just selling you a dream, a false narrative that if you do a few trades, you could get to their level. But in reality, again, they're making a lot of money off of you. And majority of those people who are selling these lifestyle, those are the ones who have thousands and thousands of people in their group. And they're the ones who really are, <laughs> are paying for them and for them to live their lifestyle that they really want to live, which is this flashy, lavish lifestyle. Here's another secret. A lot of these people, and they've been called, so often a lot of these people pay a service to take pictures inside what looks like a jet or rent a high-class premium vehicle so they could take pictures in front of it or have empty bags of these designer brand clothes and shoes and etc a lot of this stuff can be faked it's Instagram it's all about faking your life I am getting hot holy crap so lifestyle trading gurus that's what I call them stay away from them here's a review that's been almost three years in the making Right, Soldier Boy? I got my hands on one of his consoles. It's not even the one I paid for either. I still didn't get that one, though. All right, last one. Again, this one's Cosmo. It was all fun and games in the beginning, but now I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I'm feeling tipsy. Um, I'm not liking this. This drink doesn't even taste good anymore. As you guys can see, I, I did fill it up halfway. I just wanted one shot. Just last red flag that I am going to cover is the hard sales tactics. Out of all of these, I really hate these hard sell tactics. You know, they lure you in with some gems, they hit you with some knowledge, and the next thing you know, they got you on the hook, and then they hit you with that expensive price tag and they slash it, but it's still a premium price tag for something that's probably not even justified to be premium at all, but they got your attention and they, and they make you feel like it's a limited time only, so you have to get it. But then here's some key words to look out for. These key words I got written down right here for you. So if you fall into the minority category, like myself, which I believe is the majority of my followers and subscribers, so thank you. So if you fall into that category, you will hear these key words. You ready for it? I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. 
for the culture. They kept this information from us. I love that one. Secret sauce. The information they don't want you to know. I'm going to reveal the secret. So those were the key words that you want to look out for if you fall into that group. And then you have the generic ones, you know, the, the click funnel websites where it just leads you from pages to pages and they have like a lot of these testimonials like fake testimonials like that about like oh this group is so great this is amazing look at my PL, all everything that's made up and then they try to upsell you on the website you gotta look out for those my favorite the countdown timer you know limited time only and it'll just run all the way to zero then the clock just restarts so it's forever a countdown timer it's time for you to invest in yourself i've seen that many times especially at those real estate convention ones invest in yourself once in a lifetime opportunity i love that those are a few of those trigger words i like to call them i'm using this a lot but trigger words that they like to use to get you all up in your emotions. And, but remember, I'm telling you all this stuff that they don't want you to know. So that was pretty much it, y'all. I covered some things to look out for red flags. Also, there's one more, and here's a bonus here. I'm not gonna take another shot. I'm, I'm done. I'm not even feeling very well right now. I'm sweating like a freaking pig. I could just feel it just oozing out of my body right now, but I'm, yo, it's... <sighs> It's hot in here, got the lights, everything is, oh my God. The last thing I do wanna talk about real quick is, is the pricing model. Just because it's a high premium price does not mean it equals quality. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been through a lot of groups, I've taken a lot of courses, and to be honest, it seems like a lot of the lower end to mid tier courses and groups and trading clubs, they seem to add a lot more value than the premium price ones that charge five grand, 10 grand, 15, 20 grand, whatever it is. In my personal opinion, I would say don't spend more than $500 on anything when it comes to a trading group, when it comes to courses, when it comes to annual membership, I wouldn't spend more than $500. And to do you guys a solid for hanging in there for this long in this video, because I'm sure this is gonna be a long video, I put a PDF together, which is gonna be linked below in the in the description. I'm gonna have my link tree. You guys can click on that PDF. It's gonna give you access to a bunch of free resources, to ways where you can learn how to be a better trader, where you can um, learn how to invest, we, um, supply and demand, things that I learned and found throughout my journey that was free and that can benefit you on your journey as well. So my final thoughts, y'all, I think a lot of you honestly probably shouldn't even be trading and should just be focused on investing because the market is really rough and then just get as many books as you can, just block out the noise and just educate yourself, educate yourself, educate yourself, paper trade, figure out what works for you and then stick to that and stop comparing yourself to other people. They can say that, but what kind of car are they driving? What kind of girls are in their home? I said girls. Thank you for watching. My name is Mark. You're watching Train with a Dummy. <laughs>